So welcome back guys, we're here once again with our web series with Hope City, the new church plant that's helping people to find their hope in Christ regardless of what they face. Mm -hmm. Alright, come as you are, no perfect people allowed. So I'm here once again with Pastor Jay, my name is Keegs, I'm your host, right? And today we're going to talk about generosity. It is the most wonderful time of the year <laughs> like a lovely season it is the christmas season you have to know it i love the christmas season all, all right? right and before you were telling me that generosity is such an important thing for hope city especially yeah. around this time of year a lot of people know that this is the season for giving Correct. as we say yeah. all right probably not everybody is as giving as they should be <laughs> right but it is generally accepted as the season forgiving people are nicer to each other people go out of their way yeah, right to ensure yeah. that everybody could have a nice little christmas season but for you and hope city let me know a little bit about what generosity and this season of giving right means to you all yeah i think you you said it when you know people are usually more generous around this time and that is true and i think this is why because of that we use this opportunity to remind people like especially within our community, um, followers of Christ, that a generous life is synonymous with a walk with God. So it's not just being generous around Christmas, but yeah. you know the daily walk has to be um, one of generosity. And it's because they more people more open around the season to give and to receive as well. You know, there's sometimes people may feel offended if you try to give True. to them. There's yeah, that aspect yeah, of yeah. it. But around Christmas time, people are, are both more willing to, yeah. to give and to receive. And so it's, it's the time that we think it's really important just to go with that momentum and just to try and teach our people that, listen, um, when you walk after God, you are to live that generous life. Right. And one of the great examples that we looked at is there's two stories in the Bible, right? One in Luke 17, one in Luke chapter 18. And um, actually it's 18 and 19, those two chapters. One of them in Luke 18, there's a story of a young rich ruler that a lot of people know. You know, there's this young rich ruler who comes to Jesus and he says, um, you know, Lord, I've kept all your commandments. What else must I do? And Jesus says to him, well, you know what? One thing you lack, sell all you have, give it to the poor, and you know, then you'll be, then and follow me, right? And the story is that the, young ruler walks away very sad because he had a lot of possession and then there's a story right after in chapter 19 that talks about Zacchaeus now we all know this song Zacchaeus was a little short guy um, but he was a tax collector and what that meant was he was despised by his own people because he would do the dirty work for Rome yeah so he would um, tax and be real unfair to his own people mm -hmm. to make profit but here's the, the difference between the two of them. When Zac Zacchaeus encounters God, he decides he's going to give back everything. Yeah. He's not just going to be generous, but he's going to make his wrong right and give back in excess. And you know, from those two, I'm not about here to say what you need to give or not, yeah. but just to really show. And what we try to show our people is this, that when you encounter God, it's so either one of the two things are going to happen. You're either going to be like the young rich ruler, where you want to keep all your possessions, all your all the things you've, you've worked hard for, all that you want, or you're going to become very generous if you decide to follow through with God. Yeah. Nice to see that we're reaching the, the verses and stuff that I'm familiar with right now. <laughs> oh, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. right? I was on the ball with those two verses, you know, familiar with them. Them two stories, right? yeah. So it's really... Um, taking it from just dizzy time for giving is at Christmas and making it a daily habit, a daily way of life mm -hmm. for Christians and well, Correct. maybe just not just for Christians but everybody yeah, on the whole. Definitely challenge everyone whether yeah. you are Christian. I mean the world could do with more generous people exactly. on the whole. Exactly. Yeah. So in we talking about the giving, alright, um, hopefully there's me not being too forward but um, in the aspect of church and giving, I hope when we talk about giving, it's not just giving to the church, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not just giving to the church that we're talking about now, right? Right. Um, a lot of people, when it comes to 
the, the church a lot of pastors tend to stress on, you know, make sure like, yeah, yeah, bring yeah, your yeah. money. <laughs> you know, you have your, um, your links machine at hand just to, to maybe ease your access there, right? And the focus Sunday after Sunday is make sure and pay dues basically to give it, yeah. right? Yeah. And not necessarily focusing on the giving to your fellow man or helping each other out. Or even if we say, Yes, make sure and give to your fellow man. We say, make sure and give to the church first, right? <laughs> right? So, what context are you using this given in? Oh yeah, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> really come from. <laughs> um, so I would start off by saying I do believe giving into the church, um, but you're right. For us, that's not the focus. When we try to teach people how to live generous, um, when I look through it. Walking with God, I think the main thing is to recognize God gave us the greatest gift, which is salvation. And when a Christian, when a follower of Christ understands and also receives the revelation that that is the greatest gift that we have, everything we own pales in comparison. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's really the focus, not on, hey, kids, do I get you to give to the church? or even give to a fellow man but begins with the, the perspective and the revelation that listen God gave his best to you that's why anything you give up in this world for God whether it's to the church whether it's to your fellow man it really doesn't it really doesn't match up because God has given his greatest so when it comes to that yeah I believe in giving to the church but the idea for us and even the focus is really not towards the church it is really, you know, like we were saying, wherever you are, wherever your, your gifts are, whatever, you are right. be a blessing. Yeah. So when we talk about giving, we're not just talking about financially or the material things. So there are a lot of people around this time will go and give to a children's home. Yeah. Right? They will... Yeah. Children's home, home for the age. Correct, right? Yeah. Like all these, cha all yeah. these charity yeah. avenues and stuff. But what we challenge our people to do is, all right, don't just give gifts to the, the children's home. Go and spend a day with the kids. Right. Go give of your time, your, and, and not just for Christmas, obviously, but go build a relationship, you know? Because for us, as followers of Christ, our giving goes beyond just the, the material things, beyond the, um, the finances and stuff. So when we encourage, so, there's something we have called a actor, a random act of kindness card. It just simply says, you matter. We hope this random act of kindness has brightened your day and is a reminder that God loves you. Take a look at it. Let me just make sure they can take a look at it there. Well, the idea actually is hopefully some of them looking at it would probably receive this. So what okay. the idea is this. We give this to everyone on our team and basically say, go out and go out and be a blessing whether that's financially or whatever but so what some of the ways that our team uses it they would be let's say in the drive through line of whether starbucks or some restaurant kfc or wherever and what they'll do is they'll pay for their meal and then they'll, they'll ask what's the cost for the person behind them okay pay for it and ask the person just to give them the cover the idea is you know in qualifying somebody to see who needs it whatever yeah. it's totally random yeah, no. it could be somebody who could more than afford their meat yeah so we, when we go to restaurants my, my wife and i we love to do it this way like the waiter or the waitress whether or not they did a real good job whatever you see i don't know if they have any hard day. Uh, yeah i don't know i it's not for me to judge that you know what i mean and so what we do we leave an exorbitant tip where and and just leave the card just yeah. something to remind people so we are trying to teach our people that giving is not, like you say, just about the church. It's not just in the season, but it is a it is a lifestyle of being a Christian. When you hear a need and you it is within your your means that you can be a blessing to that, man, your first option is like, all right, how do we meet that need? You know what I mean? So so the way we deal with it, like you say, it's not just about the church, but being a blessing. I really like this, especially because um, even in our giving, sometimes we tend to look for the shortcuts. So 
So the same way you talk about go and spend some time. Right. You know. We tend to just decide that well, if we carry the toys, we did our part. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you carry a little hamper, by the home from the age, you did your part. Correct. Right. Yeah. Now, even in situations where we decide we want to give, we still tend to look at well, just as you said, it might be somebody who doesn't need it. Right? But just naturally, just being human, mm-hmm. you tend to be reluctant to give to someone who seems like if they could do um, better for the yeah, yeah, you know? So that's something that you don't hear very often when right. you talk about you just doing a good deed regardless of when the person needs it. Yeah. You know? So it's really a different aspect, but I could see how it all is helpful because it kinds of build builds a habit of just doing nice things regardless of yeah. just seeing the need. Yeah. So you don't have to come out today and think about well, who needs me to be generous? Right. You could you be know, generous. You just coming out yes. with generosity. Correct. Correct. You know, from as simple as a good morning that mm. you might hold back yeah. for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. You know, that could yeah. just change your mindset to well no. Good morning. You know, and you're yeah. helping along the way and it, if the world was a perfect place, I could see how all of this could just turn into everybody just helping each other and the generosity just eventually will come back to you yes. in some way now. Yeah. Right, so I really like this, so I'll just keep this. Right, just. So, so the only condition <laughs> with that, you keep that? Mm-hmm. Ensure any use of the way you use it. We see. Yeah. So go be a blessing to somebody. Yeah, man. Nice. Um, I don't really see anything much more for us to talk about here <laughs> generosity. But as always, in all our episodes, I just ask if you have any final thoughts that you want to probably speak about, anything else that you want to bring. I think really just to encourage everyone, I mean, I appreciate the fact that, you know, this is really a season where people are, are honestly more generous. Um, but I would, I think the main thing for me is that I would like to tie generosity um, to your walk with God rather than to a season. And so I would just encourage everyone, hey, do what you're doing, but as we end this year, I hope that you would be more intentional starting 2020 with, with plans and ideas and even in your budget, that every month you would be more generous. You would give to someone, look for families in your community. You don't have to go far, see those who struggle. And you know what, if it is just one, yeah. once in a while, buy some groceries for them, whatever. But right. just encourage you to take the general stay beyond a season and make it a lifestyle. I'll just be my final word. Alright, nice. So you heard it from Pastor J himself, right? We're taking generosity to our next step. To the men out there, I know from an early age we learned that Christmas is not just about giving, but getting. And that's getting <laughs> the right gift for your wife, getting the right <laughs> gift for your girlfriend or your children, right? But it's all about giving Good. and moving away from just at Christmas time, but as a lifestyle. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this episode. It was a pleasure being with you all once again. So keep out looking out for more from Hope City. And remember, no perfect people alone.